welcome to SAR Learning Center. This is the third video of the study of logic gates. In this video, we are going to study the NAND gate. Okay, this NAND gate and NOR gate is also called as universal gates. Why? This NAND and NOR gate is called as a universal gate. By using this NAND and NOR gate, we are going to develop all other fundamental gates like NOT gate. AND gate, OR gate, XOR gate can be developed by using this NAND and NOR gate. That's why this NAND and NOR gate is also called as the universal gates. Okay. Here, why is called as the NAND gate? Here, we are going to perform the NOT plus AND operation. NOT plus AND operation. The AND gate is already explained. This video is available in description. Okay, what is the IC number of this NAND gate? The IC number of the NAND gate is IC7400. IC number of the AND gate is 7408 is for AND gate. Okay, the NAND gate IC is IC7400. Okay, next, this is the IC7400. This is also a 14 pin IC127 here and 8214 in reverse order. Okay, this is the deep IC, small cut is in this side. Okay, in this side, we are going to take this is the first pin. Okay, this is the symbol of the NAND gate. This is the two input NAND gate. Okay, this IC is also two input NAND gate IC. One input is A, another one is input is B. Here, this is the AND gate symbol and one more e bubble is connected here. This bubble is indicating the NOT operation. Bubble is indicating the not operation okay look at here we are going to apply the 0 0 here what is the AND gate output the AND gate output becomes 0 the uh, 0 output is given to the NOT gate what is the output the output value becomes 1 0 1 0 the output value becomes 1 1 0 the AND gate output becomes 0 and we are going to apply this into NOT gate the output value becomes 1 and 1 1 the output value becomes one of the AND gate. This one is applied to the NOT operation. What is the output? The output value becomes zero. Then this is the expression of the NAND gate. A dot B. We are going to take A dot B means is the AND gate. That just inverting of the AND gate output is called as the NAND gate. Here this is the truth table. Zero zero means in the AND gate this is become zero. In NAND gate, this is becomes 1. 0, 1 means 1. 1, 0 means 1. 1, 1 means 0. Look at here. If any one of the input becomes 0, the output value becomes 1. If any one of the input value becomes low, the output value becomes high. Okay. If both the input value becomes 1, the output value becomes 0. This is the NAND gate truth table. Okay. This is the pin diagram of the NAND gate. The IC number is 7400. Okay. This is the 14 pin. This is the VCC pin. 5 volt to be applied here. And this is the ground pin. This is the 7th pin. Okay. This is to be connected to ground. Remaining 12 pins are available. This is the 2 terminal NAND gate. This 2 terminal NAND gate. One is the output. Totally 3 terminal. That's why 12 divided by 3. 4. That is a 4 NAND gate is available in this 7400 IC. Okay. In this IC, first and second pin is the first input of the first NAND gate. And third pin is the output. Fourth and fifth is the input of the second NAND gate. Sixth is the output. Nine and ten is the input of the third NAND gate. And eight is the output. Thirteen and twelve is the fourth NAND gate. Output is eleven. Okay, this is the pin diagram of the NAND gate. Now I am going to demonstrate this NAND gate into the Tinkercad online simulator. Now we move into the Tinkercad online simulator. This is the dashboard of the Autodesk Tinkercad. In this Autodesk Tinkercad left side we are going to select circuits. In the circuit we are going to select the new circuit. The new page will be open. In this new page, we are going to assemble all our components. First, we are going to take the all the components from this right side. The first one is breadboard. 
here we are choosing the small breadboard okay this is a small breadboard just placing the breadboard in the correct location okay what is the next component we want just clicking the cross button next component is power supply power supply this is the power supply this power supply is used to apply the 5 volt to the IC and the switch okay what is the next component next component is IC7400 this is the NAND gate IC is to be connected here there is a two partition this is the one first partition this is the second partition okay the first seventh pin is in this partition another seventh pin is in this partition because of in the center it is a insulator is available insert insulator is available okay then which one is beyond led okay the led is two terminal one is cat anode another one is cathode and anode okay cathode terminal to be connected to the ground negative terminal okay next which one is the resistor okay resistor we are want to change the resistor value into 250 ohm okay 250 ohm okay then which component we want the next one is switch dip switch okay yeah. this is a switch in this switch under the switch we are going to select the dip switch we are going to place here like that one bit okay this is the first one first switch this is the second switch this two switch we are going to use in this simulation okay now we are going to connect in the here first we are going to connect the negative terminal okay if you are going to connect the negative terminal we are going to select the black wire line and hook up this is the negative terminal to directly connected to here and connected to this is the negative terminal this seventh pin is connected to the negative terminal okay then this cathode terminal is connected to this resistor and this resistor value is connected to here and this value to also connected to the negative terminal okay this cathode is connected this this straight line is the conductor is available the same voltage to be applied here that's why this here this is resistor can to be connected okay then what is next next we are going to connect the positive red color we are going to choose positive positive we are connected to here this is the positive voltage okay in this line the same conductor to be connected that's why the positive voltage to apply from this switch number one and switch number two also okay then here we are going to connect our power supply to the 14th pin this is the power supply 14th pin we are going to connect what is this we are going to connect the input from pin from switch this is the input here we are I'm going to plan just change the color of the input green color I am going to choose wait just delete it select and delete it okay here we are to this is the first pin is the first input from the first switch what is the next one next one is second input second input what is the output the third pin is the output this output is to be connected to where this is to be connected to the which terminal terminal of anode okay that's why this line to be connected from here to here and this line to be connected from here to here okay this is the output 
Now I am going to demonstrate our project and we are going to start our simulation. Before starting the simulation, just changing the or file name is do and NAND gate. Okay. Just this can be updated. Then we are going to start our simulation. Okay, look at here. This is the input. The input becomes 0, 0. The switch becomes off condition. What is the output becomes 1. Okay, if any one of the input becomes low, here 1, 0, this input becomes low, that's why the output becomes high. Look at here. Now, this input becomes, the first input becomes low, the second input becomes high. What is the output? The output becomes 1. Here, any one of the input becomes slow, the output becomes high. If the both input value becomes high, that means both switch become on condition, the output becomes off condition. Okay, this is the NAND gate operation. Okay, this is the NAND gate operation. Like that, we are going to check all the NAND gate in the IC. Okay, thank you for the listening this video. Thank you.